What's up everyone and welcome to this lesson on unit rates. Now even though you may not have even realized it, you have definitely been exposed to unit rates at some point in your life. One common example of a unit rate is expressing the speed of a car in miles per hour. or measuring your heart rate in terms of beats per minute. So these are both examples of unit rates, and we can say that a unit rate is a rate that is expressed as a quantity of one. So miles per hour is the number of miles traveled in one hour, and beats per minute is the number of heartbeats in one minute. And we see unit rates all the time. A few examples include the cost per month for a video game membership, the average points per game scored by a basketball player, and the average price per pound of bananas. <laughs> so in this lesson, we want to explore how we can convert rates into unit rates. So let's start with an example of a distance runner who can travel 16 miles in two hours. So if we lay out those 16 miles, we can see that in the first hour she can travel 8 miles, and in the second hour she can travel another 8 miles, since 16 divided by 2 is 8, and we can conclude that the unit rate of her speed is 8 miles per hour, meaning that on average at that pace she can travel 8 miles for every 1 hour of running. Now we'll look at a scenario where there are 108 students in four math classes. So we can visualize this population of 108 students and try to figure out the average number of students per class. By dividing this group of students into four classes, we can see that 108 divided by 4 is equal to 27. So we have four groups of 27 and our unit rate would be an average of 27 students per class. Another example is considering one quarter of a pound of jelly beans that cost $1.75. Now the unit rate that we want to find is how much does one pound of jelly beans cost. Oh yeah! So here's how we can visualize this. Let's assume this solid circle represents one pound of jelly beans. Now we know that one quarter or one fourth of a pound cost a dollar and 75 cents. So two quarters would cost twice that amount or a dollar 75 times two is equal to three dollars and 50 cents. If we add another half, that would be another three dollars and 50 cents. So we know that 350 plus 350 is equal to seven, which is the price per pound for jelly beans. So again, we knew the price for one quarter pound, and we wanted to figure out the unit rate for one full pound. So we had to do 175 times four, which was equal to seven. So we concluded that these jelly beans cost $7 per pound. <laughs> so now when we want to find unit rates, we're going to use proportional relationships. In our example with the distance runner, 16 miles in two hours, was equivalent to 8 miles in 1 hour or 8 miles per hour. So we went from a rate to a unit rate. In our classroom example, we had 108 students in 4 total classes, which was equivalent to 27 students per 1 class. And in our jelly bean example, we had an original rate of $1.75 per quarter pound of jelly beans was equivalent to $7 for one pound of jelly beans. Seriously, do not eat one pound of jelly beans. <laughs> so now we're ready to take a look at a few examples. In our first scenario, it takes Jose three minutes to text 237 words. At that rate, we want to find how many words he can text per minute. So the key info in this question is that we already know the rate of three minutes to text 237 words, and we want to convert that into a unit rate of words per minute. 
So we know that he can type 237 words in three minutes, and we want to see what that's equivalent to in one minute. So 237 divided by 3 is equal to 79. So the unit rate here is 79 words per minute. <laughs> cool. Which is actually pretty fast, considering that the current world texting record is 82 and a half words per minute. So now we'll take a look at one more example. In this scenario, Jacob is comparing the prices of two different brands of water bottles. Now the first brand costs $30 for a case of 24 bottles, and the second brand costs $39.60 for a case of 36 bottles. What we want to find out is which brand has the lower unit cost per bottle. So essentially, what we want to find out is which brand is the better deal. So let's call them brand A and brand B. So brand A is the first brand, which we know is $30 for 24 bottles, and brand B is $39.60 for 36 bottles. And we can use our knowledge of unit rates to figure out the price per bottle. So for brand A, 30 divided by 24 is equal to one and a quarter, or $1.25 per bottle. For brand B, $39.60 divided by 36 is equal to 1.10 or $1.10 per bottle. Comparing these unit rates, we can see that brand B is the better deal since it costs 15 cents less per bottle than brand A. However, since Jacob is well informed to the fact that the amount of oil used to make one year's worth of plastic bottles could fill 1 million cars for an entire year, so he decides to use that money on a reusable water container instead. See what we did there, huh? Yeah. Think about that. All right, see you later, guys. Thanks a lot, guys, for checking us out, and please follow us on Instagram, at MashupMath, for daily math tips, animated flashcards, and our Math in Sports infographics. Check it out. <laughs>